we think you're missing. Here is the incomparable Ethel Barrymore, the indomitable Tallulah Bankhead, and the irrepressible Groucho. In this scene, watch how Groucho uses two of the first ladies of the theater as though they were Margaret Dumont. It's a classic, people remember, and will wonder what happened to that kind of television. Well, here we are, reunited. Patty, Maxine, and Leviathan. <laughs> Ethel, you know Groucho, don't you? Of course. And you won't want to talk to him. <laughs> On the contrary, hello, Groucho. Hello, Ethel. I love you in that sketch. You were marvelous, pretty marvelous. That's supposed to be Tallulah. Oh. <laughs> Let me take you away from all this. Come on my show. You can make a fortune. I'll give you the answers in advance. <laughs> Treat me as like a queen mother. You may ride. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Get up, Roger. Enough kidding about. Who's kidding? Help me up. <laughs> the late George Appley. Well, isn't this comfy? Well, let's not waste any time. Why don't the three of us next? No. Not the first time I ever enjoyed saying no. <laughs> Enjoyed hearing it. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, darling. It's later than you think. <laughs> That's what I say. It's later than you think. Come on, chill, and let's neck. Groucho, Ethel does not neck, and neither do I. Mm -hmm. Speak for yourself, darling. <laughs> Ethel, Miss Barrymore, please. We are trying to keep this program on a high plane. Oh, that's right. I'd like to be now on a high plane going back to <laughs> Would you girls mind if I lowered my voice into the conversation? <laughs> you stay out of this. You're the cause of all of this. Whenever you're around, it's always talk, 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 talk. Why can't you learn to relax and give someone else the floor? Okay, you take the floor and I'll stay on the couch. <laughs> He's a chicken. We don't talk about it, but because we need the eggs. 